Welcome to the Hiram College 2010-2011 Winter Sports Preview. I'm Sharika Lavette. Coming up, we're going to take a look at the upcoming season for men's basketball with men's basketball coach Steve Fleming and two-time All-NCAC player Chris Roberts. Then we'll talk with women's head basketball coach Andrea Preston and star player Jessica Cohen. Finally, we'll sit down with two members of the Hiram College swim team along with coach Jack Purcell. After meeting these Terriers, you will be as excited about the upcoming winter sports at Hiram College as we are. Up next, coach Steve Fleming. For these few weeks, how has the team been shaping up? The team has been shaping up rather well. They really get after it. They work extremely hard. Um, they are encouraging one another. It's, it's always a process as you build your, your team each and every year, but they're really working at it. The communication needs to continue to improve, uh, as well as uh, our team every day we go out. That's what we talk about. Take it one day at a time and improve on a daily basis. You are in a good situation here. All of your starters are returning. You did not lose any seniors. That has to be a big advantage. There's no doubt that's an exciting part of the upcoming season. When you have a veteran group coming back, they understand what it takes to win in this league. They understand how hard you have to work. They understand on a daily basis the grind that the long season uh, can take. And so they understand how important it is to, one, take care of their body, uh, take care of their studies, and continue to improve daily on the court. Last season, you ran a very fast-paced offense. Do you think fans will see the same run-and-gun style of basketball they saw last year? Our style is not going to change. We certainly recruit to our style. We try to bring in players who fit our style and we feel we've done a pretty good job of that. We do have a veteran group who is very, very athletic. I think across the board, if you look at this league, we are one of the more athletic teams in this league and we're going to continue to play that style. We definitely want to get up and down. We want to dictate tempo as much as we can and put pressure on, on every team that comes into play. Thanks, Coach Fleming. We are looking forward to a great season this year. Thank you. We're looking forward to it. We are here with the Terriers guard and two-time All-NCAC player, Chris Roberts. Chris, how has the off-season been for you, and what did you work on? Um, off-season been great. Um, I mean, I just been working on my shooting, you know, trying to work on my pull-up, and just you know, working on the key things, you know, defense, you know, still trying to work on getting to the rim, working on my left hand. So, you know, off-season been pretty good for me. Last year, you guys finished 12-14. Do you feel like you were a better team than your record? Of course. Um, the year before that, we went 16-10. and 10, So going 12-14, and 14, you know, wasn't our goal that year, that year. So, you know, this year we're trying to, you know, we got one goal in mind, and that's winning the um, NCAC championship. And, you know, we go hard, we work hard and practice every day, you know, and that's what we're striving for. Well, thank you so much, Chris, for this interview. Thank and you. I wish you and the team the best of luck. Thank you. We're here with the women's basketball coach of Hiram College, Andrea Preston. Coach Preston, how does it feel having Jessica Collins back, one of your leading scorers, leading returning scorer, averaging 8.5 points per game? Well, it's great to have Jess back. Uh, she is a senior this year, so we're really looking for her to be a leader for our team, not only on the offensive end of the floor, but also on the defensive end of the floor. So we're really excited to have her experience and her leadership. Uh, we welcome five new freshmen to our team, so she'll be really important in helping those guys get acclimated to our program. It seems as though that you have a fast, agile team this year. How do you feel that you will work with the girls on the court? Well, we do. We have a lot of speed and we have a lot of athleticism, and that's something that we've not had in large quantities in the past. Uh, so this year, we're going to take that and use it to our advantage. Uh, we hope to do a lot more pressing, have an up-tempo defense, and uh, also on the offensive side of the ball, be more a run-and-gun run team. So we want to be up-tempo. We want to score in the first 20 seconds of the shot clock and uh, really make our opponents adjust to the style that we play. So we're really excited to use that speed and, and quickness. I'm here with senior and women's basketball player, Jessica Collins. Jessica, how does it feel to be back this year? Uh, it feels great. I'm really looking forward to the season. Um, you know, I've been here, this will be my fourth year, and uh, I think we've got a young team, and I'm really looking forward to it. I'm really excited. Great. What do you think your strengths are for the team? 
Um, <clears throat> I think this year I'm going to have to score. Uh, I would like to score, but I also think uh, I need to rebound and play some defense, get some stats on D. Uh, I think that um, being the only senior that I have to be a leader to uh, the underclassmen. So I'm going to try my best to do that too. As a leading returning scorer, averaging 8.5 points per game, how do you feel about playing the offense this year? Uh, I'm really looking forward to, um, we're starting a new offense this year. Uh, we're going to be running a lot, pushing the ball, and um, shooting a lot of outside shots. So uh, I'm looking forward to that. I think it's going to be fun. I think our team fits that offense really well. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, you have a great year. Okay? Thanks. Today we're here with Sydney Kispert Bostic a diver on Hiram College's swim team. Diving and swimming is not a popular sport. Is there anyone that you look up to specifically before you begin diving? Not really. Diving is a very new sport to me. Like I did gymnastics when I was younger and all through high school and I didn't dive freshman year but they asked me to so I really only started last year so it is very new to me on that too familiar with like the professional divers that are out there today. For divers, is lack of fear a big part of your makeup? You're climbing up a high ladder and jumping off a perfectly good diving board. Yeah, there are some dives that you just have to not be scared and not think about it and just get off the board and just do it because if you think about it, you're just going to scare yourself more and you won't do it. So yeah, having no fear is pretty good. Today we're here with Ashlyn Crone, swimmer and senior of the Hiram College swim team. Ashlyn, how has practice been for you so far this year? Practice has gone really well this year. Um, I'm already swimming about as fast as I did at the end of last year, so I'm really excited for how the year is going to go. For you personally, what is the best event? My best event is the 100 fly. I've been swimming it for a really long time, and I really love that event. So. Is there any area that you feel that you can improve on this year? Um, just practice in general. I know that in years previous I maybe hadn't practiced as hard as I should have and so I'm taking that really seriously this year and so far it's starting to pay off. Is Coach Grozel tough on you as a swimmer? He's always tough on everybody. I mean, he enjoys getting us pumped up for like our hard sets. So yeah, he's always tough on everybody. Thank you, Ash. Thanks. We're here with Jack Rosell, the Hiram College swim team coach. Coach, what do you expect the team to excel at this year? Well, I expect that the uh, men's team will, will do extremely well this year. Uh, we have a great group of senior men that um, have taken a, a great group of freshmen men under their wing, and we're farther along in practice than we've ever been before. And everybody's very excited about how they're going to swim. Um, for the women's team, uh, it's a little bit of a rebuilding year, although we do have a, a, a very good group of, of senior ladies that uh, are excited to see how fast they can go. When you begin recruiting, what do you look for in a potential swimmer and diver? I look for swimmers who are uh, interested in working hard, interested in being on time to practice, uh, interested in listening to the coach and, doing the instructions that the coach gives. Uh, our practices are all about uh, not how far you go, but how it's done. Zach Wegman is one of your strongest swimmers. What do you think makes him a special competitor? Well, Zach uh, is very intense. Um, he works extremely hard, very involved in the sets that he's doing. So mentally, he is got it all figured out of what he needs to do, knows his body very well, uh, knows when he needs to rest. And um, we have great conversations between the two of us uh, in coming up with what he needs to do on a weekly basis. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to come out and support your Hiram College Terriers.